Hello guys, in this video you will see another free lesson that I decided to release for free on YouTube from my newest course, Advanced Laravel Livewire. It will be about notifications with two different libraries, Toaster or Sweet Alert, and what is the difference between them and which one is better maybe. I will show both in this example with Livewire, so how to call that notification from Livewire, how to emit the event, how to catch that. After watching this video, you may want to enroll into full course. So the list of lessons is on the left here. It's quite a quick course, just over one hour with all the advanced tips and tricks on Livewire that I've gathered over a year of working with Livewire, both working myself and reviewing the projects by others. So enroll in full course at laravildaily.teachable.com in a specific course or subscribe to the yearly membership to get all the courses and everything I will release for a year ahead. Now let's take a look at notifications in Livewire. Enjoy. In this video, let's take a look at how Livewire interacts with JavaScript based on examples of two libraries for notifications, Toaster and Sweet Alert. So you can fire the event from Livewire component and catch that in the JavaScript in Blade. So here's my demo example and how it works. You add a record, you add a post, and then in the top right corner, you see Toaster in this example, notification that record was added successfully. And then later I will show you the second example of more complicated and more configurable suite alert, which also doesn't have dependency on jQuery. So let's start with the toaster. In the blade file of Livewire component, we have wire submit prevent store post. And in case of toaster, we use it like this. So after creating the record, we use dispatch browser event. We can name the event however we want, so event name, and then pass the parameters of whatever we want. There are no rules here, so the array of parameters. And then in the blade, in the main blade, not in live wire blade. So I have tailwind blade as the main layout component. And down at the bottom, below live wire scripts, I have this. So first I load jQuery because it's a dependency of a toaster library. Then I load the toaster from CDN. And then I add this. So we have window add event listener. Then you repeat the same event name. It could be just toaster or toaster info or whatever. And then you have a function of actually showing the toaster. You can check out the toaster documentation for all the other events like toaster error or warning from what I remember. And then you have event.detail, which contains all that array. So in this case, we're passing message and it becomes event detail message. So that's it for those simple notification libraries. You don't need to have wire ignore or any other magic. You just dispatch the event, dispatch the browser event from Livewire component, and then you catch that event in a JavaScript. Now let's take a look at a bit more complicated example. So same example visually, but after adding the post, we have sweet alert record added successfully. And also we have the confirmation with sweet alert. Toaster doesn't have that feature of confirmation, but sweet alert does. When you click delete, are you sure you can cancel or you can click OK to delete that record. So how does that work for sweet alert? The same logic of dispatch browser event and I call that event swell model. Swell stands for sweet alert and there are more parameters potentially here. And in the main blade file, we also add event listener with just different name and it's different syntax to call the sweet alert message. The method is swell with a bit more parameters. So this is to show the notification. What about the confirmation? There is a delete confirm method in the Livewire component and also delete how they are called. From the blade component in the delete button, we have wire click delete confirm. So first we don't call the delete directly. We call delete confirm, which dispatches browser event, swell confirm. It's different event from swell model, but pretty similar parameters. And one of the parameters is the ID of the record. Now, in the main blade file, we also add event listener, but with a bit more logic. After calling the sweet alert, we have then, and you can check the sweet alert documentation for more details on how it works and what are the parameters. But the main thing with Livewire is this line. So if we do want to delete, we can call the live wire from JavaScript. So the other way around. So from live wire, we dispatch the browser event that is caught in the JavaScript. And if something needs to happen back in live wire component, we can fire windows live wire emit delete event with event detail ID as a parameter. And then in the posts main live wire component, we have listeners delete, which would automatically call the method called delete this one. 
So this is how you can dispatch browser event from Livewire, catch it in JavaScript, and then call something back if you need Livewire component again.